How's it going YouTube? Let's do a bit more work on this MR2, shall we? I've managed to buy a, one of those little workbench things. This is just a cheap one off of Amazon. I've just got that because I know if I'm spraying and stuff, I'm gonna trash it. So I didn't wanna get a good one. I'd like to try and fit this steering wheel today because it's light outside. So hopefully I'll get that done. But first, I wanna take this spoiler off because I'm gonna try and have a go painting that today. See if I can remember how to spray things. I've repaired that hole with some fiberglass. So that's gone off now. That We can sand that down with the rest of this spoiler. What I'll do with the bolt in there is when I take it out, I'll cut it a little bit shorter because we don't want it pushing this bit out. I'd also like to get this painted today as well. Well, I need to go out and get some primer because I haven't got any primer. I need primer for this anyway. the repair it looks like bubble gum stuck on it at the minute we'll get that sanded down that should go nice I want to do that steering wheel and that window surround first once I do anything with this then this is gonna to have to stay there then until it's dry so I'll do those bits first I'm gonna go out and get some primer I'm back we've now got some primer can't believe how all these cans and everything I've got no primer well we've got primer now so we can do something right, I've also turned the car around what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these out of the way I'm gonna bring the car in here because I'm gonna do this windscreen surround first see if we can do something with that I've also had to put the van on charge because the battery was flat again I really need to sort out that battery drain on it don't I because it's obviously more than what the solar panel can do when it's winter so for now, I'm going to drive this in here. Let's sort out that window surround. tell you you can't take a hard top off on your own all right what I've done is I've taken the hard top off I've put it there for now I've put the car back outside I've done that so I can open the doors right up so these rubber bits here I can pull these out of the way I can pull this out of the way you can see this is still the original blue and I can get everything out of the way so I can get this sanded down and get this painted if I get a screwdriver and just run it inside here you can see where all the black's coming off and it's letting the red out from underneath so I need to get in there and I need to sand that down better than what I did it last time then I can get this painted a bit better and get it the same colour as this grey it's actually been a while since I've seen the car with the roof off so once we get this bit better sprayed up and we'll get that new spoiler on that should blend in quite nicely with the roof down actually which is what I want because I, I want to be able to drive it with the roof down a little bit my airline's not long enough to reach outside, so I'm going to run an extension out 
and I've got this little mouse sander here. We'll put a disc on there and cut it open. We'll use that to sand it down with. Now I've put a bit of masking tape around it just to help protect the bits that I don't want to sand. So I'll, I'll get this sanded down now so we can get a bit of primer on it. I think looking at the seats as well, at some point we're going to have to either do a lever restoring video or a new seat fitting video at some point, looking at those. Right, that's all that done to how I want it done. Remember, unless I'm specifically doing a how-to video, these aren't how-to videos, because this really isn't the way of how to do things to make it look all nice and lasting. So I'm just doing this just to tidy it up a little bit for now. So I'm gonna get some more masking tape on that, and we'll get a bit of primer on it, and then we'll leave it to dry. that dry then I'll sand it down a bit and I'll give it another coat and I'll do that a couple of times just to get it looking right and then we'll be back here then for some colour. Ages ago I bought some custom made up paint this is Indian grey so it should match this colour hopefully I can't remember where I bought it from I think I got it from eBay I'm not sure I forgot. First coat on, I need to give it a few more coats, so it's actually not a bad match. So we'll tell more once it's all completely done and the roof's on, but looking at that, that's not a bad match at all. So that's gonna tidy it up nicely for now, I think. So I'm gonna give that a couple more coats and then we'll get ready for the lacquer. Ah, right, we are, that's blended in quite nicely, actually. That seems to be a good match from, from what I can see. So that's dry, I'm gonna get a bit of lacquer on it now. So I'll give it a few coats of this lacquer get that covered up and then we'll pull off this tape and what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to store it in the garage for later so it dries off properly and I can leave all the roof and everything off before we do that we'll change this steering wheel so let me get this lacquer on Right, I've given that one coat, I'll just leave that for a minute and then we'll put another one on it. While it's doing that, I'm going to lift up this bonnet and isolate the battery so I can take off this steering wheel and I can put the new one up without blowing up the airbag. Right, for anybody that doesn't know, the battery's in the front and just down there I've got a little rotary isolator on it. I just undo that and then it isolates the battery. I can't remember at all how this goes on. So I'm going to take out these little Allen key bits and pull it off and see what happens. Because then we can get the hub off and get the new one on, hopefully. Right, for anybody wondering, yes this does look nice. But it's a bit of a pain for on the road because when you're driving normally that's what you can see when you're looking at the clocks it's a little bit small so I'm getting fed up with that because you're having to dip your head down to see the clocks all the time and it's a bit of a pain when you're driving it looks nice though and it'd be obviously good on the track but for the road I'm going to go for the other one and see how I feel
That steering wheel's off, bolts are up there. This is ready, I think this just clips off. So that goes behind there. There's our little resistor mod that's for the airbag. So we can unplug that. I need to get a socket in there and we'll unplug that. And then let's get the stock wheel back on. mil socket if anybody's interested let's undo this Right, there we are, everything's off. I remembered I had to modify that to get it back on. I'll stick a link up one of these sides, so if anybody's interested in fitting the, the Momo hub and the wheel, then I did a video that shows you how, to, how I did that, so I'll stick a link up for that. Let's get the other wheel on, shall we? Right, there we are, that's the wheel we're putting on, the one nice one with the red stitching. Nicely recovered. Hopefully that's centralised. If it's not, I'll have to whip it off again later and just spin it round a little notch. But it should be alright because that's how we took off the other wheel. According to Google, it's 34 Newton metres that's sent in up. This, this wrench only goes down to 40, so I've done it at 40, but just because I'm too lazy to go in there and get a smaller one. So I've done it at 40 Newton metres. Right, the airbag, you just plug that in, then you push it back and it's got two bolts that go in there. I'm going to have to dig those bolts out and find them later because I don't know where mine are. So I'll just push it in and just rest it in for now. Right, there we are. That's my eye level, so now I can actually see the clocks, which is much better. The steering wheel looks nice. Let's have a quick look round. I've just got to find those two bolts so I can fasten the airbag back. I've got my steering wheel in there somewhere, so hopefully I'll find those. Right, so there's that in. We're back to a normal size stock steering wheel with an airbag, so I shouldn't die in the car of death. On the front over here, I've put on a few more coats of this lacquer. This colour looks like it matches in quite nicely. So I'm going to leave the painting of this spoiler for a bit. I'm going to drive the car into the garage and leave it in there so that lacquer dries properly. Hopefully I should just about squeeze it in here. We'll find out. A squeeze but it does actually fit I've had to push it right up to the end to get it in there but it does actually fit and I can close the door so it can stay there so this paint can dry you can see how shiny that is now we'll let that dry and then we'll sort it out later anymore so we've done a little bit more on the MR2 we're progressing which is nice we'll get more done over winter I'll start getting those panels off get everything sprayed up next video We'll take all that masking and everything off, get the car back outside, get the roof back on, see how that trim around the window looks, and probably get that new sun visor on as well, that status error one. So I noticed a bit of overspray on the windscreen as well. We'll have to get that off. That's because I was spraying outside. So I'm gonna get ready and sort this van out. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see some more, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.